Hi, You Can Heal family. Coach Sheena Major here, getting back, reading the word with my You Can Heal family. Summer's winding down. Blessing's going to be heading back to college in the fall and ballet's ramping back up. Bren is um, in her second session of her summer intensive. And a lot's been happening on my side of town. And now I'm ready to uh, share the word of God with you and just begin to let you in on my life and some coaching tips and chats as we read through the Bible. If you've been listening before and you're wondering what happened, well, I'm back now, so let's let's get to it. It's been quite quite the last few months for me, but all things growing and learning and um, trusting in the Lord Jesus Christ. So we're starting off today in Psalm 98, but before I begin, let me say that friendships are everything and having someone in your life you can count on, you can open up to, you can be vulnerable with, you can share with is so vital and so important to your health, your well-being, your mental health, and just learning how to communicate and relate with one another is, is so important. So I thank God for those people that I have in my life and very grateful for relationships that have lasted friendships over 30 what 35 years now something like that so that's real good and new friendships that that have been born in, in this late stage of my life so I'm so glad I'm so glad I'm so glad for that so let's ask the Lord to come on in the room father and be with us and let um us hear what we need to through your word today so that we can grow in the knowledge of your Lord and grace and learn to love and be more like you. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 98. Sing a new song to the Lord. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has done wonderful deeds. He has won a mighty victory by his power and holiness. The Lord has announced his victory and has revealed his righteousness to every nation. He has remembered his promise to love and be faithful to Israel. The whole earth has seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth. Break out in praise and sing for joy. Sing your praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the ram's horn. Oh, I like that word, melodious. That's, am I, am I even saying it right? <laughs> Listen. Mel melodious? Yeah, I think so. It just s makes me smile. Anywho, make a joyful symphony before the Lord and the King. Let the sea and everything in it shout his praise. Let the earth and all living things join in. Let the rivers clap their hands in glee. Let the hills sing out their songs of joy before the Lord. For the Lord is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with justice and the nations with fairness. Yeah, if you've got odd against somebody, if there's a friend <laughs> that you've had or you felt they betrayed you or hurt you, listen, the Lord's going to judge the world with justice and fairness, the nations, right? And I'm sure that person is in the world somewhere. So just trust the Lord to handle it. You do your part and let go of things that need to be let go, things that are old and, and look forward to, to something new coming your way. Amen. God God will do a new thing in your heart and in your life. He will. So deep breath there. And let's move on to Psalm 99. Exalt the Lord our God. The Lord is king. Let the nations tremble. He sits on his throne between the cherubim. Let the whole earth quake. The Lord sits in majesty in Jerusalem, supreme above all the nations. Let them praise your greatness and awesome name. Your name is holy. Mighty King, lover of justice, you have established fairness. You have acted with justice and righteousness throughout Israel. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow low before his feet, for he is holy. Oh, that's so true. We've got to remember we serve a holy God and to humble ourselves throughout the day. You know, don't think of yourself any better than what you are, right? God is holy. And every time I read that word, sometimes, if, if you've listened to me read this Bible, sometimes I, I read the word holy and I just meditate on it. And like God is holy, like he's pure <laughs> on every form, like he can do no wrong, right? And 
And we're to live up to that. But we're not going to be perfect like him, but we can try to be like our king. A holy God. Verse 6 says, Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel also called on his name. They cried to the Lord for help, and he answered them. He spoke to them from the pillar of cloud, and they followed the decrees and principles he gave them. O Lord our God, you answered them. You are a forgiving God, but you punished them when they went wrong. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain in Jerusalem. For the Lord our God is holy. Oh, deep breath there. Amen and amen. The Lord's holy. Exalt him and worship him today. Worship the Lord with with a true heart, a repentant heart, a heart that 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 screams and cries out, My God, I'm I'm here. Sometimes I don't know which way to go, you know, what steps to take next, but I know I serve a holy God. And if I um am truthful, and if you come to the Lord with a truthful heart, he's gonna help you and guide you and I believe that, and I'm trusting him for lots of things. Last night, you guys, I wrote down 20 things that I'm believing for and hoping for by um, my birthday in 2027. So the list is lengthy, but I know my God can do it if I do my part. So I'm thankful, I'm thankful, I'm thankful. I'm thankful that you listen. If you know anybody who needs some fellowship, who needs some relationship, have them join me with you here on this channel as we finish reading the Old Testament together, and um, we've read up until um, this psalm, so just hang tight. We're gonna be reading together at seven every morning, and we're gonna finish up, we're gonna finish strong. We had a little hiatus there, but hey, don't count me out. <laughs> I'm back in the saddle. So if you need a friend, you need someone to share the word of God with every morning, Tune in, tune in, tune in, and we'll 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 um, conquer this word of God together, and know that our Lord is holy. He loves you. He cares for you, and His plan for you is oh so good. Always remember, true healing begins with self love. Why? Because God is love, and Holy Spirit lives on the inside of you. Bye for now.